What's up, Cal Gang? All right, we got this cool problem. Uh, so in a charming 19th century hotel. Okay, so I'll, I'll just try it out, basically. So you got this disc, and its radius is like 2.5, I think, meters. And you're pulling up this elevator, right? So let's, let's start with the problem one. Okay, so at how many rates per minute must the disc turn to raise the elevator by 25 centimeters? Okay, so we want to go up 0.25 meters. And it has to, and we want to know um, per, I guess, in what, per second? Yeah, per second. Okay, so um, it needs to know what's the angular velocity gonna be for that to happen. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so to do this, we just need a simple formula. Um, velocity is equal to the angular velocity times radius. So let me make sure I got the radius right. Yes, I did. Okay, so basically, uh, we have the velocity. We have the radius, and we're trying to find the angular velocity. So what we're going to do is we're going to say w is equal to velocity divided by radius, and then we can say w is equal to the velocity, which is 0 0.25, divided by radius, which is 2.5, and it's equal to 0 0.1 um, radians a second. But in this problem is asking for rates per minute. Um, so rates per minute, okay, so radian, so two radians is a full circle, and our, and our rotation is a full circle. So we can change this, so it's 0 0.1 radians per second. So then you can get rid of the radians because two pi radians is equal to one uh, rotation. So the radians are gonna cancel. So you're just gonna have to divide by 2.2 2 pi, but then it wants per minute. Okay, so to get rid of the seconds, you know that there's 60 seconds per one minute. And so therefore, um, that number is going to switch to 0 0.95 rates per minute. 95. There you go. That's your answer for part A. Okay, part B. To start the elevator moving, it must be accelerated at 1 8th gravity. Uh, what must the angular acceleration of the disk be in radians a second squared? Okay. We can do the very similar thing for this. So acceleration is equal to angular acceleration times radius. Very nifty. <laughs> okay, so it must be accelerated at one eighth of gravity. So then, you know, we're trying to find angular acceleration. So it's gonna be, it's equal to A divided by R. So this is gonna be one eighth gravity divided by radius is 2.5. Gravity is 9.81, of course. So you're gonna get 0 0.4905 radians a second squared. That's your angular acceleration that you need for that. In radians things squared. Okay. Now part C. Um, through what angle in radians and degrees has the disc turned when it is raised 2.5 meters? Uh, okay, if you guys uh, know what's coming next, you're gonna be shocked, right? Um, theta, which is angular displacement, is equal to displacement. Oh no, right, displacement divided by radius. Similar thing. because um, distance is equal to theta radius. Okay, so we're trying to find how much uh, that angular displacement is, right? Yes, we are. Okay, so theta is equal to, it goes 3.25, and the radius is 2.5. Pretty sure it's 3.25. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong column. This number is 1.3 radians is how much it changes. All right, so there's your three answers. Uh, rates per minute. And that means that it kind of turns like about here, how long it takes to raise it up. Cool problem, right? All right, so yeah, good luck in your physics homework. Stick around for some more calc problems, uh, physics problems, I mean. And uh, yeah, good luck. See you guys later.